hello everyone so today we are going to work on sound effects for the car so we have a dynamically updated engine sound and a sound when the car skips so these are the things that we are going to work on today you can notice the engine is sound is updated as it speeds up and skip sound is activated along with the skid marks are activated okay so we have already worked on the uh, sound system for the cars in this video but at the time i was using just the velocity of the car and using it to derive the engine sound but there is a better way to do that using chaos wheel vehicle movement component and from that we can get the engine rpm which i didn't know at the moment and someone had pointed that out here thank you but it's 10 months ago and i didn't notice that and yesterday we fixed the skid marking system to use the chaos wheel vehicle movement component and today we are going to fix the sound system using that so i have already imported this uh, engine loop Q so which has three different sounds like this cross faded using a parameter RPM changing from uh, 0 to 3000 so what I'm gonna do is let me compile and add this sound into the car and here we can set that uh, set parameter set float parameter yeah and the parameter name is rpm so we are going to set this parameter with the rpm value that we get from this chaos wheel vehicle movement component so get the component get engine rotation speed and we can directly set it here but i think as i know this changes from 900 to 6000 something but we only have up to 3000 so i'm gonna clamp it between 0 and 3000 and let's see it stops okay why does it stop uh all right it fades out by 3000 that should be the reason so we can't directly use that so let's divide this by let's say three so we can limit this like this 2500 okay that works anyway let's print and see what control value we get here uh, maybe without clapping so we can get a better idea 3300 
we need a longer path to drive. So let me just start. Some object like this, make it uh, larger. Okay, what's the material here? This one, so that if we don't have a grid or something, we can't see the vehicle moving. Wait, can't I use that? Material. Oh, it's a landscape. Oh, right. But still. We got some grid, I think. Yeah. Oh, here is a starting point. Two thousand six hundred. Okay. But we can have more range to get more variation in the sound. So instead of dividing it, we can go up to two thousand five hundred without an issue. So we can let's divide it by two point five. So we should see more variation in the sound. better. I also unpaired this skid sound. A nice looking sound. Um, as that animation I'll use the same engine animation and I'll make it loop. Save. So let's add that sound also. How? Did the car here yeah. skip? Skip one. Let's have two skip sounds. Even though we have four wheels, I don't really want to have four separate skip sounds. So just two should be enough. One for front and one for back. Skid F, Skid B. Okay, now I'll roughly place them closer to the respective wheels. Even though it wouldn't, we wouldn't see much of a difference. Now, in the check skidding part. Oh wait, we need four sounds. Skid F, F, 
because because we need to activate and deactivate for each tire uh, so because uh, front left and front right tires can independently be skidding and if we don't have four sounds we just have to check if at least one of them is skidding and enable and disable the sound so which can make it a bit complicated so S skid FL S stands for sound S skid F S S T B L and S S K B R right now back right here. S is get front left here, front right here, back left here. Fine. Now in here for this macro, S. Let me get all the sounds. S is kid FL. Can we insert it? No. So here. Uh, uh, this is. It. This is audio component. So I'll add a new input here. S is kid. In the type audio component, right now we can insert. Oh, oh wrong audio component. This one, that's the one I need. Okay. S is kid front right here. S is kid back left here. Back right here. Right. Now we can get the reference. Well, actually, it would be easier if I convert this to another function instead of a macro. So we could use local variables more easily. But bear with me for the moment. So if we are skidding, we need to play the sound uh, but I'm not sure if this uh, restarts if I call play again so I can check this play and if it's not if it is not playing we can play similarly here we can have a branch if it is playing we can stop it
right now shall we check bad but the system is working right now let me add the start starting point back here getting sound a little bit it doesn't have to be that loud okay one more thing here if you don't want to do this engine rpm check here we can promote this to a variable, uh, to a function. Update engine sound. We have the function now, just like this. We can call another set timer by function name, just like we do for this kitty. Add Point two intervals, no need to call it in every tick. The cell performance, still, it should work without an issue. Okay, now that's good. Perhaps if we can have some more like impact sounds. For these occasions, this would be better. But for now, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. And thanks for watching. As always, project files will be available for the download in the Patreon page. Link would be in the description below. And if you like to support my work, you can get the membership of the Patreon Club. See you in another episode. Goodbye.